What's the area of any 3D shape? It's simply the sum of areas of all its faces. Like each face of this cube is a square, the area of this square is 4 times 4, that's 16 square units, and this cube is made up of 6 such squares. So its surface area is 6 times 16 or 96 square units. All the faces of this shape are rectangles. It's called a cuboid. Its length is 5 units, breadth is 4 units, and height is 3 units. Its surface is made up of two rectangles with areas 4 times 3, two rectangles with areas 3 times 5, and two rectangles with areas 4 times 5. So its area is 2 times 12 plus 20 plus 15, that's 94 square units. Similarly, we can find the surface area of any cuboid as twice of length times breadth plus length times height plus breadth times height. A cuboid is a special kind of 3D shape called a prism. What's a prism exactly? Take any shape, now imagine it extending perpendicularly up from the sheet of paper, that's an upright prism. For example, take a triangle and that's a triangular prism. Pentagonal prism, hexagonal prism and all these are just prisms. Can we arrive at a formula to find their areas? Let's unfold this prism with a parallelogram base and see how it looks. We get two equal parallelograms from its top and bottom. All these faces are rectangles. Together, they form a bigger rectangle. Its breadth equals the height of the prism and its length equals the perimeter of the parallelogram, that is 3 plus 5 plus 3 plus 5 or 16 units. So the area of this rectangle is 16 times 4 or 64 square units. The area of each parallelogram is base times height, that's 12 square units. Adding these areas gives the surface area of the prism, that is 88 square units. We can find the surface area of any prism similarly. It's twice the area of the base plus the area of the unfolded rectangle, which is the product of the base perimeter and the height of the prism. How about this shape, a cylinder? Unlike the flat surfaces of a prism, this one has a curved surface, but we can think about its surface area in a similar manner. The areas of its top and bottom are circles, which is pi r squared. But what about this curved surface? If we open it up, it turns into a rectangle. Its width must equal the height of the cylinder and its length equals the perimeter of the circle, that's 2 pi r. So its area is 2 pi r times h. So the total surface area of any cylinder is the area of the two circles plus the curved surface area. For example, the diameter of this cylinder is 3 units, so its radius is 1.5 units. And its height is 6 units. Let's plug in these values. We get the total surface area of this cylinder as 22.5 pi square units. Now how about this oval shaped cylinder? The perimeter of this oval shape is 8 units and its area is 5 square units and the height of this cylinder is 6 units. Can you find the surface area of this cylinder? 